Kill him. Kill him. He's right there. Just stab him. Ah, it is you at last. Commander Washington. If you give up the apple, I will let you live. Give up the apple. It controls you. Is that what you believe? I believe I control it. Although I never considered the possibility that it could control someone. Perhaps it can. You have been corrupted by the Apple's power. Corrupted? Well, that raises an interesting question. Do you wish me to give up the Apple in order to save my soul? Or do you wish the Apple for yourself so you can control the nation? The true rulers are the people. Let's not deceive ourselves. It's an absurd thought, but... Let's suppose that I were beholden to this apple. How would you behave differently? I would use it for the good of everyone. Well, the possession of the apple is both a burden and a blessing. Tell me, when you shake the earth, you feel that you are a slave to the people? Or do you wish to be their master? The people want you brought down. But you didn't answer the question. I am the only king here! Armageddon. I died trying to bring down Washington. And I plead with you, do not pursue the apple. My son, I am so worried for you. The sky journeys have led you astray. Give up your fight for the apple, please, my son. Please. Now's your chance. Take the apple. Take it! Take it! Commander. Take it. Take it from me. I do not want it. No man should possess a power so absolute. Sink it into the sea. Weight it. And sink it to the bottommost reaches of the ocean. Anyway. Commander Washington. I thought I was alone. I'm sorry to interrupt. Oh, it's quite all right. Things appear to be at a stalemate. I'm afraid so. Might I suggest, Commander, that a Republic cannot survive in a world with so many contending powers. I beg your pardon. Elected bodies, to be sure. 
The war was fought for this. For this nation to prosper. For this nation to thrive. The weakness of a republic must be balanced by a powerful man at its center. A powerful man, Commander, who, if, if I may be so bold, would be elevated in the eyes of the world if he were given the title of king. Sir, I believe I can answer you in complete candor. Your proposal raises the greatest mischief that could befall my country. You could not have found a person to whom your schemes are more disagreeable. Let me conjure you then. If you have any regard for your country, concern for yourself or posterity, or respect for me, to banish these thoughts from your mind. Never communicate as from yourself or anyone else a sentiment of the like nature. We are done here. You want to go back? Yes. Back. Take us back. 